Welcome everybody back to another episode of Yisait Lakramagza of Donna. This is Nick. In the most previous episode, we got back to Adol. We were before previously Donna, which was kind of a weird turn of events because Donna, Donna and Adol tried to combine their names into one. Donna was just in Adol's dream before, but now it seems like we can control Donna. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Adol off the starboard bow. Nice ramming. I know, right? At this rate, I'll be making my raid battle debut in no time. All right, settle down, Queena. The barnacles, his dogey. See you around, Adam. It's been one week. Queena was unconscious when the captain saved her, and she's too innocent to understand what happened to him. It's actually pretty funny how she ended up on the Lombardia. She was playing at the harbor, snuck aboard while the cargo was getting loaded. So she's a stowaway? Heh, <laughs> yeah, a cute little stowaway. Her presence is actually helping some of the castaways, castaways take their mind off what's happened. But you know something at all? As adults, we can't just sit around and mope forever. We need to discuss our future plans. Can you bring Loxia and Sahad so we can chat? I'll be waiting at the village center. We did get an addition to the camp. Eh, that, that one can wait for a while. We did get an addition to the camp. Oh, but there's nobody there. Which was the girl that was saved by Captain Barbaros. Oh, hey, Dina. Ha <laughs> I'm sure these will be a big hit. Oh, Adol, perfect timing. I got some new items in stock. I call them gift items. They're for my private collection, and they make excellent gifts. Well, I mean, we don't want everyone feeling bummed, bummed out around here, do we? I just want everyone here to have a little extra spring in their step. Uh, I'll make sure they're cheap. You'll buy them, won't you? Sure. That's good. Stop by again whenever you have time. I was actually trying to stop by. Yes, the approval rating can go up if you buy these gift items. The gift items are very worth getting. But I want to see if you have a hope rock. Because if you have a hope rock, I am definitely going to buy it off you. Hope rock, hope rock, hope rock. No hope rock. So these are the gift items that they were talking about. Normal. Actually, I should get the... Gambler coin. Not gonna equip it. Empty bottle I still want to get. But each one of these can increase... There's only one of them. But each one of these can increase your approval rating. And you might get something good if you get your approval rating increased. But there's one per, so you can't get like five of them and get your approval rating maxed out immediately. That doesn't make any sense. But I was looking for that, Dina. A little bit of a side quest. This needle seems like a great thing to give our tailor friend over here. You want the precise needle? Wow, this is a lovely needle. Are you sure I can have it? Please use it to help us. Hmm, okay. I'm a tailor after all. Oh, Adol, there's a frayed spot on your shoulder. May I take a look real quick? Thank you very much. If it's just this, I'm going to put this needle to good use. With skilled hands, Allison repaired the shirt, basically. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised how easy that needle, needle is to use. I'll be able to help out a lot more by using this needle. I'll get better at it so I can surprise my husband. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to... I didn't mean to do that. Please take your time. Yep, we have new things that we can get. Now the Oracle Robe and the Pirate Coat are also options that we can get in our armor. 
The apparel is still the same, and I believe we have some extra accessories. So our shop expanded. Pretty good deal, if I'd say so. Making my way up this hill. <laughs> How can I help you today? Can I get armor? That nah, maybe upgrade my weapons? What should I upgrade? Oh, they're already that max is. level. I'm gonna hold on to that iron ore. Still need to find Loxian Sahad. Got on a little bit of a detour, but JRPG, it happens. Going back to the gift items. Gift items are very worth getting. Get all the gift items you can. Same with all the eggplants. So we can get more meals made. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. And there is Loxia. Oh, hi, Sister Nia. Hmm. You know, as always, so positive and bright. She's just like the sun. Ever since that incident, I feel like I don't understand God's intentions. Man, me too. Captain Barbara should have been worthy of being saved. I completely ignored the fact that we didn't even talk about what happened to Barbaros in Kiergaard. I mentioned it a little bit. At all. I'll talk about it in a bit. Feels like we've been rudderless for the past week. Took for granted how, how much we had to depend on the captain. We have to keep moving forward. Yes, I understand. The captain's not here to guide us anymore. Our fate is in our own hands now. That much is obvious as I can't help but feel a sense of dread at the prospect. The captain and the other castaways have been protecting me this whole time. Ever since they came to this island, no, possibly even before then. Even before? Yes. You remember how frustrated I used to get when we first arrived here. That's because I couldn't accept the fact that I've been uproot uprooted from my sheltered life of privilege. In hindsight, I'm really embarrassed for my former conduct. You've changed, Loxia. <clears throat> I feel like you're almost talking down to me. I'm starting to make my own decisions so I can accept responsibility for my future. I don't want to feel like I need to be protected. I just want to protect others, just like the captain. Gah, I totally understand. Hi, Sahad. You can't face the sea until you first accept how small you are. Believe me, Loxia, I know exactly how you feel. Ah. We don't got the captain anymore. We give our lives structure. From now on, we gotta rely on our own judgment as we move forward. Don't worry so much. Yeah, just look around. You'll see you got old Castaway Village supporting you. The captain may be gone, but we're still a part of his crew, so we gotta look out for each other. Yes, you're right. Alright, let's go. Wonder what's taking us so long. We gotta survive just so we can fulfill the captain's last wish. Captain Barbara's main goal was to build a ship and get everyone off this island. I'm not sure we can build a ship that big. You need an expert shipbuilder with detailed br blueprints to pull that off. Unlike the captain, all I know about ships is how to steer them. And even if we did build a ship, there's still that marine primordial that's still out there. Unless we drive back somehow, we'll meet the same fate as Sir Carlin. It's a lot to think about. I mean, where do we even start? At any rate, we're not in a position to leave this island just yet. Our current knowledge is too narrow to facilitate an escape attempt. We need to gather more information. We've already found the bodies of several pirates as well as various notes throughout the island. I'm sure there are more secrets on this island waiting to be found. Adol's right. We should focus on gathering information for now, figure out how to escape later. We've explored the island's southern region, but we haven't set foot in the north. Oh, that's right. A while back, the captain and I did do some exploring and see if there's a way to head north. The only way to head north is to scale that giant mountain in the center of the island. You mean that daunting peak that can be seen from every corner of the island? Yep, that thing. That's the one. You have to go through a huge valley to reach the foot of the mountain. It's a pretty difficult trek. A huge valley? We've been there, haven't we, Haddle? Yeah, I remember. It's a spot we said we'd check out later. That valley is rather difficult to pass through, though. I hear you. If there's only a way around it. Well, whatever we end up doing, we got ourselves a goal now. Great, we must pass through the valley somehow to reach the central mountain. Man, that mountain. Gah! Sort of reminds me of Orin. A real hard-ass always standing at attention. Hm. 
That reminds you of an uptight military man. Perhaps we should call you Gendarm. That's what I'm gonna call it. Gendarm. What was that now? Uh, um... <clears throat> nothing. Perfect timing. Adol, we have to rethink how to respond to beast raids in the future. We don't have anyone to give us orders, we're pretty much on our own now. I was hoping Aura could give me a, help me out by taking command during raids. With a nameless stripper case to, solved, we need to find a way off the sound so we can properly pay respects to our fallen allies. I'm counting on you. Hmm, <laughs> thanks. I'd also like to help out around the village, since you're surprisingly good with your hands. He cleaned up some rusty items that washed ashore so that, till they're good as new. Really? Hmm, <laughs> surprised. No, I just would have never guessed that about you. Apparently you can craft small accessories for you. I have no intention of replacing the captain, but I'll do what I can to help out. You don't have to worry about anything here. Just keep exploring the island. Yes! Gah, leave it to us. Alright, Adol, let's find a way off this rock. I know you won't let us down. Oh, man. A yawn at that time was not at the right part. Orin opened a workshop. He can work up, work down items. Let's check it out. Which one do you want? Anything we don't really want, we can dismantle. So, do we have anything that's double? Or any armor? We have a lot of leather armor. Let's see. Let's. He'll dismantle that. We got more leather hides. Not even necessary. Same with chainmail. Same with everything, really. Well, come again. Yeah, Another thing you can do is show him the map. So, Orn is taking the place of Captain Barbaros almost. Not at the same point, but he's going to help out with direction. Oh, great job. Ah, this is really coming right along. I think you've earned this. Captain Barbaros just yeah. left this behind. We get another empty bottle, which is a great, great thing to get. Same with gauntlets and an athlete ring. You think that I was crazy for exploring all the areas. No, Orin gives you some good stuff. So I will keep exploring the island. We now have Licked. That is going to be our brewmaster for our potions. We need a revive potion, pretty sure. Yeah, I get a revive potion and get some health potions. And we could get some of those, but not yet. He's gonna take the place of Kiergaard. The guy who was the doctor that everybody used to love is now kinda bad. So, that's the aftermath of what happened with the nameless ripper, Nemo, Kiergaard, whatever you wanna call it. We also have a couple of new. Wait. In the Great Valley. Okay, that one's a long one. This one's also a long one. This one's also a long one. And this one's also a long one. We also have new quests on the bulletin board. I'm gonna go check those out, see if we can finish those right away. Yo, Adel, you want me to hear you talk your ear off? If we can do these quests before we start exploring and get two in the zone, it'd be the best way to do it. At least for the way that I play this game. Back home we got this custom where we write down our wishes and decorate a tree with them. We call it a wish tree. Don't know why, but doing it always puts a smile on your face. So I was thinking, maybe we could try doing the same thing here. That's a great idea. Gah, ain't it? The only problem is finding the right tree. A good wish tree has, guys, has got a distinct look. It's got a white trunk and luscious looking leaves. Back home the tree we used to grow only in the mountains. Crazy, we're going to the mountains. Wonder if we could find the same sort of tree if the same sort of tree could be found on the Isle of Saren. I'll help. It's reassuring to hear. We'll knock this out together, at all. That's a wish tree. We're gonna have to find that. Ah, uh, Adol, actually wanted to try a brew a particular medicine. It's a difficult formula, we would never we may never know when the prime mortals will return, so we like to give it his best effort. We need one sparkling mucus and one sparkling leaf, and we need to bring those to hand. And we don't have those. We must do more exploring. But more exploring, you say? Sounds right up my alley. Should we destroy those? There's hornets there to destroy. Main stories over. No, that's where the wish tree is. Where's the story destination? Should be somewhere over here. 
I believe it's here. Now this is the river. I'm losing my place right now. Jeez. That's where the night mystery one was. Okay. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Let's go here. I believe this is the right area. You know, I haven't seen Hummel in a while. I didn't even talk about that. Hummel isn't here. Might make exploring us easier to give Gotham to help us out. He may be an asset in combat situations, but we'll never know where to find him. I'd rather have someone else, anyone else, help us instead. There's probably more castaways out there waiting to be rescued. Because we just gotta keep our eyes peeled for him. He's so unreliable. Just like him. Huh, you say something? It's nothing. Let's head out to Gendarm. Ooh, I cut off Sahad. Now we have our a location arrived. Oh, Sunshine Coastline. The music is so good. It's too late to start complaining. Now keep moving. I agree, Loxia. But where's the hornet's nest? There's a hornet's nest somewhere over here. If I zoom in here. That's where it is. Okay. This way? It's on top? Maybe it's up. But now I'm back to exploring the best part of the game! I want to find the hornet's nest. And we're back to a single jump. That's disappointing. Only one jump. One jump battle. Donna's got a weird feather that lets her do two jumps. If only we had that. Is there a switchback or something over here that can get us up there? No, not there. I would just like to find this hornet's nest and I would like to get their booty. Eh, it can wait. We'll just keep running in the meantime. But first, I want to get you. See, it hasn't been obvious. We've come a long way to destroy these enemies very easily. So if you need to level, not level, uh, if you need to get some materials, you can just grab them there. This might be where Mr. This is where the hornet's nests were. Now I remember. It's down an area. Is it down this way? Not here. What about here? It is. This was where I was looking for. We have our insect repellent. Oh, that was nice. I should have switched to Adol for that, because Adol could probably do a better spread damage attack. Got some gloves. Wonder what they can do to help us out. Who got new skills? Adol got a new skill. Is it better than Arc Shot? Yeah, it's way better than Arc Shot. We got the Ocean Guide and I'd never even equipped it. Now we have another slot for adventuring gear. That's awesome. What am I doing with my life? The blue gloves adds freeze. Eh, but the leather gloves give us HP. I'm not going to equip that. What was I going to do? It's gonna do something. There we go. Equip the other piece of adventure gear. How did I miss that? Like, how did I actually miss that? That was really... Maybe I just got the ocean guide. But still, I should have equipped that right away or used it right away. Do a little bit of hopping. Hoppity hop hop hop. Because I haven't felt we made a lot of progress in this video. We've accepted some quests. We've seen the aftermath. We've got Allison's approval rating up. But in terms of progressing the story, we haven't done much. We've just been seeing the aftermath of the Nameless Ripper. 
what that means. We got to do more exploring, which, hey, I'm not gonna complain about. That was, wow, it was almost like a short Yukin. Yay, Street Fighter input. But can Street Fighter use the wind? I don't think so. Well, I guess we're just gonna break him up. Yeah. That tree looks a little bit different. Doesn't look like the same area than when we were first here. And I hate insects, so I'm just gonna get this hornet's nest out of the way to get me some honey. Was there a reason to do that? To progress? Nope. Well, we're at the Great Valley. So are we supposed to get across anyway? Huh? The owl? Look at that! Huh? What? I believe this song is called Overcome the Rocky Path, and it is fantastic. I love all the music in this game. What the? The roots of that big old tree reach all around here like a bridge. We can definitely get across the valley using that. This tree wasn't here the last time we passed through this area. Maybe we missed it somehow. How could we miss a tree that big? And if this tree was already here, then why would Dogi say this would be difficult to cross? Hmm. It is suspicious. What could have changed? Maybe something that we have done to make this tree appear. Hmm. Another mention of this him. Who could he be? Could it be him from Powerpuff Girls? Probably not. And without of that, without of that, with that, I'm out of ideas for who this him could be. This, nope. I was thinking that could be something that could give us some goodies. It's not something that can give us some goodies. What if we just had infinite jumps? Might make things completely a joke, but it would be cool. More sturdy lumber is always good. Big seed. My guess is it would be for the corn. Let's just keep climbing. We have a little bit of... Oh man. Don't even know what to call it. Context? Whatever you'd call that tree. Loxia is now using her knowledge to our benefit to give us a heads up about what's going on. Oh, now we actually see the primordials face to face. They do a lot of damage to you. 
Well, that's a sign saying don't fight him because you can't beat him. So we'll leave him for now. And move around. That was weird. We got a full extra gauge. Hmm. I think that's what he said let's go about. Hemostatic, I believe that cures paralysis. I'm trying to be a little more quiet about this area because I want you guys to be thinking. I want you guys to be thinking about what could be going on with all these primordials in sight. Do a little bit of zigzag to unlock more of the map. Sun's beginning to set. Let's find a place where we can set up camp at all. I'm guessing it's by that save point, but I want to unlock all of the map because then we get more goodies. This is the place. Look, this might be a good place to set up camp for the night. We got a long hike to Jenda Arm to look forward to. Hmm, yes. We should prepare to get plenty of sleep tonight. Whatever it was. That probably was off a little bit. Let's set up camp, battle. Man, I never expected to see a giant flying primordial like the one we saw. And the smaller ones were no pushovers either. Even after Kathleen refined our weapons, we still couldn't damage them. Their bodies must be more durable than, current, than the current research suggests. If we run into more primordials like that, this might get pretty tough. <sighs> I had a feeling you would say that. Let's try not to antagonize any primordials as we make our way through this area. We need to focus on climbing Gendarm tomorrow. We must exercise more caution than usual as we proceed. Vision at the Arboreal Awakening, everything submerged underwater. What was that? I've never felt anything from like that from previous visions. Come in. Pardon me, Your Eminence. Sarai, what are you doing here at this hour? Yes, well, I've come to bid you farewell, actually. Oh. The remaining maiden candidates may choose to either serve at the temple or return home. And as much as I would love to stay at the temple and help you, my family has asked that I come home. I understand. I'm going to miss you. I'm sorry I can't stay with you. No, if your family wants you to come home, then you've made the right decision. I'll be alright. Donna, thank you for understanding. I have a gift for you to congratulate on becoming the new maiden. What? No, I couldn't possibly... Please, I insist. Come on, take them. Donna received Edelsphere. These crescent blades, are they made from Orichalcum? Yes, a stratum of ancient rock was recently unearthed near the Great Valley. It contains deposits of pure orichalcum of exceptional quality. The weapons made from that metal are capable of felling saurians. I don't think I can accept such a generous gift. 
On the contrary, Donna. It would please me to no end if you wielded them. Besides, those weapons were custom-made to suit your diminutive stature. No one else would be able to use them if I took them back. Oh, that's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I actually would prefer that you keep those blades by your side in my stead. I'm sad to part ways with you, Donna. I've always wondered what makes you so determined. You've always been more willful than most, but I don't expect that side of you to change anytime soon. <laughs> Olga says I need to change the way I talk. I'm trying really hard to force myself to be better, but it's so hard sometimes. No matter what happens in the future, Always be true to yourself. I know change is inevitable, but through it all, never forget who you are. Hold fast to that which makes you, you. Sarai. Good morning. Today is the day we're finally climbing Jindarm. Ooh. Do you really think we can climb such a tall mountain? If we're to escape this island, then we have to give this our all. Just in case you forgot, Adol, I will remind you again. Since we can't defeat the Primordials, don't try to antagonize them, understood? No need to go overboard on this one. Now then, let's get moving. We had a little bit of a segment with Donna. Donna was telling us a couple of things, wondering why the vision, which what we were talking about before, was what it was, was basically her having a drowning feeling and why she couldn't breathe. We're back to Adolf. And we were told that Orichalcum can fell something called Saurians. We want to figure out if these Saurians are actually related to Primordials, because it seems very convenient that they introduced them around this time. So maybe something like that can be discovered on the island to help them out fell the dinosaurs, primordials, that they're encountering. Eternia and this area seem to have some kind of things in common. So, I want to figure out what those are. We got Pack on the Tree, now we're almost up our way. Next episode, we're going to climb up this very tall mountain. So mountain climbing in the next episode.